Well, that Freshie in the Winter Video Niche Edition was received very well, so I decided to put together a quick designer version as well. A designer version with a disclaimer. The disclaimer is the following. These are all sexy fragrances that can absolutely be worn in the winter, and you should try them out if you have them or sample them to see how well it performs on you in the winter. However, for me to sit here and lie to you and telling you that I'm wearing these consistently in the winter time is cap. And most content creators won't tell you that. I'll be like, yo, I absolutely love this. I wore this, this, that, and that day. And what a cap. I've worn half of these in a minute, especially in the cold weather, because I have massive amount of varieties all over the place. But I do recommend them. I know they perform well in the winter, but just haven't gotten a lot of burn lately. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto 10 sexy designer options that would be great in the winter time. Bless your morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy. See to the U to the B to the A. Let's jump right into this list. For example, this is a fragrance that I haven't worn in a long time. It is a massively enjoyed fragrance by billions upon billions of people at this point. I'm exaggerating clearly, but a lot of people love this fragrance. It's an absolute work safe beast, signature scent worthy. Everybody and their mother has it, and it's definitely on the fresher side, but super easy to wear in the winter, and people do it every day. Aqua de Gio Profumo. This is like that signature everyday wearing fragrance that dudes love. I mean, I think men appreciate this fragrance more than women, and the women who do smell it absolutely enjoy it. It is a very sexy fragrance, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think it's a very enjoyable fragrance. I'm a little bit over it at this point, to be honest with you. I had a smaller version, I ripped through that super quickly, and now it's just kind of sitting there collecting dust for a while. But when I do reach for it and I do re-sniff it, I'm like, it is a very solid, sexy fragrance. Absolutely can perform in the winter because this is a lot of people's signature scent. So for me to sit here and tell you that this freshie won't perform well in the winter, that's a lie. It absolutely will. It has all that signature scent flexibility and that sexy fact that you're looking for. So this is definitely a great option for the winter. Next one. Now this is an awkward option because it's so sour, so citric, so ruby red grapefruit juice. But I just tested this out, but I recently tested this out just as a wear to see how it would perform on a day, and it was only on my hand. It actually did phenomenal, and some very interesting nuances came about in this fragrance in the cold weather. I know, it's gonna be crazy. Dolce Gabbana light blue forever. Forever. A super polarizing fragrance. The ones who like this joint really like it. I'm in the space that really like it. Others can't stand how bitter the grapefruit aspect, they just hate the saltiness, or just hearing Dolce Gabbana light blue just triggers them ever so slightly. And I understand both sides 100%. But this fragrance does smell phenomenal for me on my skin in the summertime. I truly appreciate that grapefruit aspect. I like that little bit of a sour bitterness. I like the saltiness. I do like the aquatic vibes. Any freshy fragrance that you really start to wear in the wintertime really does turn into something else. So it's a very fun, interesting experiment to see what these things do on your skin. And this one performed very well in the cold weather. It was just a little tart, but very invigorating, like a Vic stick in your nose. Next one. This fragrance is gonna be impossible for you to find. I had to put it on this list because it's a freshie, but it still has some darker components. I love this fragrance and I just cringe and terrify because I had a little another little version of it which would be the one that I would wear because I don't want to use this because it's impossible to get I put it on this list because I love it Versace man this Versace man by Versace used to be so inexpensive a throwaway nobody cared about it you can find it, but you're just gonna pay a premium markup, probably closer in the 200 space, maybe like 180, 160. It's a tough one to find, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous freshy designer fragrance that really has this clean factor, has a little bit of a dried fruit factor. It's sick. So if you have the opportunity to try this out or find the sample some way, somehow, honestly, I would repay the 100 bucks in that space to re-get this fragrance again if I use it, but now that I'm done with my little sample 30 ml that I had to play with, I'm gonna have to start using this shit, which gets me nervous, man. I wanna pay for it. Very sexy in the cold weather. Next one. You want some high-end designer irisy, freshy fragrance with a beautiful vibrancy. Yves Saint Laurent, Trench. Trench? 
I mean, the best way for me to describe trench to me is a powdery after rainfall smell. Like this, I hate this word, moist, <laughs> moist air, <laughs> moist air, ugh, and powderiness. And that powderiness is just the right amount of iris in this fragrance to really make it live and beautiful. This isn't a performance beast in the cold weather. However, it is beautifully unique and very comforting and has that close encounter factor that's very easy to wear in a work environment and still has that exclusivity that you're looking for in a high-end designer fragrance. It's been a while since I've worn this joint. Oh yeah, bright citric. There's a little bit of a white floral aspect in here and there's a dried fruit in here. I don't remember what the dried fruit was. Musky, some dried fruit, powdery, super fun, very playful, very sexy. Next one. Going into the love factor, this will forever be in my collection. I can rebuy it over and over again confidently and still feel that this beautiful signature scent, Ginger Bomb, will be getting those compliment factors and that's Yves Saint Laurent Loam. I've said it in numerous videos, the very first fragrance that had gotten me so many compliments in one day, I still to this day, I don't, I don't know what other fragrance. There's probably one or two other fragrances that may be coming close, but never the visceral reaction that I got from this fragrance. I don't know how many people around my job I had put onto this fragrance and literally purchased it within like a, 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 a day or two. Sweet, sexy, was a super good seller back in the day and people kind of just disregarded it because they get all caught up in the niche vibe or anything that's hyped on a billboard. Don't be stupid, bro. Sometimes you gotta rock what works this shit absolutely works all year round, especially in the winter. Next one. And if we're continuing in the space of classic, sexy, gentlemanly fragrances that nobody cares about, that Tom Ford for men, classic, gentlemanly, beautiful fougere vibes, gorgeous lavender, some sort of a soapy essence to this joint, pure dressed up corporate sexy. You wanna wear that fly long three quarter trench? Pull it off. Big coat? Pull it off. It's holiday party season, so if you're looking for that holiday party, sophisticated corporate type event, you don't wanna annoy anybody, but you still wanna get the attention factor, especially when you're all scarfed up and coated up and your shoes are freshly buffed, shaved your balls just in case you get lucky with that other coworker. Tom Ford for men? Oof. Next one. Some still go to after parties, but they might work for a smaller business and it might be some bar and loungy type spot. So you can just pull out one that always just hits and it's Versace Dylan Blue. The fuckboy special. It's a very good fragrance. Very sweet, very fun, very playful, extremely youthful, but it is sexy. Still worn by all age demographics. I mean, 18 to fucking 80 can wear this particular fragrance. Me, this is in that category of I'm kind of like, nah, tired of it. Not because it's a bad smelling fragrance, because again, it just doesn't pique my interest at this point. But this is one idiot's opinion. And this idiot's opinion is it's definitely sexy as shit for the cold weather. Just for me, a little bit boring at this point in my life. If you have not smelled this at this point, which is shocking, you absolutely can smell this and it will perform amazing in the cold weather. If you walked around any NYC clubbing line, you've smelled this a hundred times, next one. And in that same line, 10 people back, Victor Sacco is probably gonna be there. This is a freshie that performs, performs incredibly. In that same Dylan Blue aspect that it's slightly fuckboyish and generally catered to the warmer weather, however, has all the components to play beautifully in the cold weather. This is the EDT version and I've had this for a long time and to be honest with you, I feel like the longer it macerates on my shelf, the better it starts to perform. So if you got like an older version that you've just completely ignored and you only keep it for those two seasons, try it in the four. If you get cold weather or you get those chilly nights wherever you are tropically, pull this joint on and see how many compliments you'll get because not everybody lives in a major metropolis and doesn't have the accessibility or that major compliment factor around you so what's boring to me might be exclusive to you next one the next fragrance is one of my favorite flankers from that coach line and that's coach platinum now this one isn't full-blown freshy it's more of a fuckboy hypish kind of fragrance but if you're gonna go for any of those in that particular lineup i personally would go the platinum route it has beautiful spicy freshy nuances throughout the fragrance that's why i categorize it in this list but it also has a creamy 
uh, like churned ice cream vanilla kind of vibe with some darkness. So it definitely is gonna perform very well in the winter, but it's also in that signature space that is just worth it. I like this one. I really do like this one. It was the last one for me to get out of all the fragrances because I was really waiting for a discount, even though it's already cheap, but sometimes I'm a little stingy. So this is absolutely one that would perform outstanding in the cold weather and a fun, sexy designer fragrance for you to try out. Last and certainly not least, and along with D&G Forever, I just wanted to see if it really would last a day in the cold weather. And it had this very beautiful tropical element that added the, I don't know, this like, like level of vibrancy and fun and, and Caribbean-esque vibes to it. And that's Tommy Bahama's Saint Kitts. I, this doesn't belong in this list. This is truly summertime, boat shoes, no socks, three quarter shorts with your bulge hanging out. I don't got a bulge. But that little star fruit action in here really did something fun. It really was like a casual winter fragrance that added this, like I want to go on bookings.com and just book my vacation quickly to get out of this burr moment. And really added like a little bit of a cocktail boozy star fruit element that was doing quite well. It was a day wear only, and it was again on wrists. It lasted about, I wanna say seven hours or so, which is great. In the cold weather, fragrances do last a little bit longer on the skin, especially if you lotioned up so you don't get that heavy ash. You already got this nice protective layer on top and the fragrance kind of sits on top of it. This one kind of had that effect, so the performance could have been affected a little bit, by me trying to lotion up and not look extra fucking chappy. But it was a beautifully fun, sexy scent profile that really surprised me in the winter. So the last video I gave you five niche and now I gave you 10 designer fragrance options. Once again, being all the way clear and transparent. These are ones that I want you guys to test out because they are absolutely sexy, but they're not ones that I reach for on a crazy basis. This was a list that I compiled for you guys because I gotta get out of the mindset that not everybody lives in this tri-state heavy metropolitan area. And although these may be a little bit boring and redundant to me at times, it can be completely new, inviting, sexy to whatever environment you are currently in. So one person's opinion is not the end all be all in all facets. So test before you buy, unless you get an amazing deal, then pull the trigger. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. But the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you